Hello YouTube, Relic1974. I wanted to make a short video on um, an idea that I've had for a while in case you know the crap hits the fan and our power grids go down. Um, I've been wanting to make a, a do-it-yourself solar array uh, backup system for a while and uh, I've thought about what I would really absolutely need in the case of a, of a power grid failure and I've decided that if I could at least have running water um, that would suffice and uh, I would have no other needs for electricity so I've had these plans in my head for a while and I finally decided to sort of draw it up in a uh, kind of a schematic slash flowchart kind of form. Um, here's my diagram that I came up with. Basically, I would build two of these solar cells. Each of these cells is polycrystalline. They are rated at 0.55 volts each at 6 amps. Um, I can get these for three dollars and fifty cents a piece through uh, this contact right here. It's called Plastics.com. Uh, they have the solar chargers, inverters, batteries, the uh, solar cells, anything you might need for your do-it-yourself solar project. And I'll provide these links in the uh, in the video's details. But anyway, what I have here is when I make my panels, I will take 48 cells to create one panel, 24 of which, the first 24 will be wired in series to give me 13.2 volt at 6 amp. Two of these wired in parallel will give me 13.2 volt DC 12 amps. I'm using Ohm's law for all this. Um, as you see right here, now if I have two of these panels in parallel, I still have 13.2 volt DC and now I'm up to 24 amps. So that's an approximation, you know, on a, on a, you know, it, on a bright sunny day uh, the most I could expect out of it is around 316 watt. Run that to a charge controller, which you can also pick up from plastics.com site. Um, plan on using at least two batteries, maybe three, but I think two would probably do the job. Um, I'll be looking for like golf cart batteries or forklift batteries. I've heard those seem to work the best and I plan on using a 12 volt very high uh, uh, rated capacitor 3.5 farad uh, this will store an enormous amount of current anywhere from 12 to 26 volt DC uh, they use these a lot in car stereo applications but uh, the purpose of this storage capacitor would be to uh, give me that uh, extra current that is required to uh, get a motor moving, which would be my water pump. Uh, from your batteries, of course, you go to your inverter, and convert your 12 volt to 120 volt AC. 400 watt inverter should do it. Then it goes to a new pump that I will have to submerge. Uh, my existing well has a 230 volt submergible pump. Well, I can install a half horsepower, 5 gallon per minute, 120 volt AC pump right alongside uh, my existing pump. And I have found some links. I'm going to uh, close this little diagram. I think you got the idea. 
Um, here's the site that has uh, all your solar project needs from solar cells. They do sell entire panels, fiber optics, chargers, uh, all the wiring and things you would need. So I'll probably, uh, I've already gotten a quote from these guys and they sell in bulk. Uh, they sell single cells, but like I said, I can get the cells for $3.50 a piece. So I would need 96 cells to build two panels. Um, I will give this link in the uh, details beneath the video. Um, this site I will also give a link to. It takes you from start to finish on how to build your own solar panel. The materials that you'll need uh, the proper way to solder the cells, um, how to make your enclosure. Very invaluable site. You know, how to waterproof it and everything. And But anyway, I will provide this link as well. And I've been looking at some sites. Um, right now, I'm just, I have just started shopping around for a, uh, 120 volt water pump to re uh, to replace the 230 volt pump that is running off the grid. Um, I found this supplier, and I'm not. I probably won't go with this supplier. They're pretty expensive. For example, this uh, this half horsepower 115 volt pump. 600 bucks but I'm basically using this site to get an idea of uh, what pumps are available and what I might need um, here's a spec sheet that kind of shows all of their products and uh, what kind of uh, current requirements they have um, all the specs that you could think of uh, there's your depth versus your capacity charts for all the different pumps. So once I find a pump that I need, um, a buddy gave me a good link uh, to find a similar pump at a reasonable price. I will most likely use uh, Granger's site. Um, if I find a used one, that's fine, but I keyworded a uh, water pump and it gave me, let's see, 3,355 results. So I'm sure out of this catalog I can find the pump that I'm looking for. Um, I do plan on forwarding my plans to Plastex. They have electrical engineers um, that can look over these plans and, you know, tell me if. Uh, if what I have on paper will work in real life and once I know that I may make another video uh, to confirm that all of this will work you know things look great on paper and things sound great in theory um, but until you really put it to practice you can't be 100% sure that it's going to work but once I've had this vetted and looked over uh, by some engineers I'll make another short video uh, and if there's anything I need to adjust or uh, any changes I need to make in my plans I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know about that but I, I just felt like uh, this would be some useful information for anybody else concerned about the grid going down and wanting to go solar and uh, I've given this a lot of thought talked to a lot of people about it and it seems like this might be the best way to go about it um, I'm trying to think there's, if there's anything I have forgotten. I think that's about it. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions. Uh, give me any advice. And uh, also check out our research page over here. Planet X Research. Earth Changes and Truth Seekers. Um, and just to let you guys know, we don't study Planet X. Um, Nibiru or anything like that. It's a play on words. Um, we pretty much just research and uh, 
look into anything that's going on with our planet whether that be global warming or earthquakes volcanoes even geopolitical issues and I will provide a link to that as well and as soon as I have more information on these uh, on this solar well pump uh, project that I'm wanting to uh, start on I will make another short vid and let you know what the uh, pros have to say everybody take care God bless